Hi everyone, good evening. Hope you are doing extremely, extremely well. And as you all know, today we have event of Art of Podcasting. And for this event, we have Mr. Ripu Daman Bhardwaj with us. He is a host of the most serious podcast. Now, the, the name of the podcast is itself most serious podcast, which is uh, like a very <laughs> new name. <laughs> so, uh, welcome brother, welcome to Squad Growth. How are you doing? I'm great. Uh, Shorya, thanks for introducing me to your community. Uh, very cool name, Squad Growth, uh, team building and a community sense in just the name of your of your venture. And anyways, I'm Ripu Daman. I am the host of the most serious podcast. It's called the most serious in a funny manner. You know, I don't take it very seriously. No, neither do my guests do. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I just love talking to people. I love having conversations and I believe that Conversations or baate karke aap jitna zyada seek sakte ho na, utna reading books, watching movies, watching TV shows. For me personally, I don't think anything can replace uh, conversational exchange or conversational knowledge that is being transferred. So that's that's what I do. That's what I love. Apart from that, I just recently finished my uh, graduation. I did my engineering from Delhi, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm I've started a, a job in management consulting now. uh that's that's great brother that's great uh let's wait for one minute let me put a notification in the community and people just uh, wait for one minute till then if you have any question related to the event just put it in the message section we will take your all the questions and give me one minute let me put a notification in the community and then we'll start the event perfect Yep, I think we are ready to go. Hmm. Again, well, I'm saying if you have any question, just put it in the message section. We will take your questions in the session itself. So no issues with that. Yep. So yeah, let's start with the event, brother. So uh, we uh, today we have the event of art of podcasting. We are going to discuss many things in the depth. But before starting it, uh, before starting it all, I want to ask you, what is podcast according to you? Is it just like an interview? It is a conversation, or what is it between uh, like a formal conversation, informal conversation? What it is all like? Please explain that. I think, yeah, it's got such a simple solution, na. And I'll 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 interchange between English and Hindi just to make it informal. Uh, so. to explain this very easily this conversation that you and me are having right now just me you just asked me a question that what is a podcast actually then this in itself is also uh, flowing into the uh, realms of what a podcast is you know so you just sitting there and asking me what a podcast is and me answering that question on what a podcast is that in itself is a podcast so podcasts are just conversations that you have without uh, necessarily having them being uh, forced into uh, feeling like an interview or a news channel debate so you just want uh, an easy flow or exchange of ideas so that's all what podcasts are all about for me personally i think that uh, whenever you're sitting in front of a person who's done xyz things in their lives then sometimes you're very curious ki yaar aapne ye aise kyu kiya aapne why did you take this decision why didn't you do an mba ya fir why didn't you you know climb some other mountain instead of mount everest to aise kar kar ke ye jo questions hai these provide uh, you in depth uh, experience of their own lives so podcasts are nothing they're just conversations that we have like each and every day we have conversations with our friends we have conversations with our parents uh, maybe our teachers and uh, all of them have potentials to be podcast episodes if you think about them because some conversations you will actually i think most of your audience will relate to this ki kuch kuch conversations aisi hoti hain sometimes they are either with a friends or parents or teachers or whatever or even with someone on the internet that you relish for a long time and you think about that conversation ki yaar us time pe na something just struck and we talked about it for 2 hours 3 hours and you know the conversation just kept flowing we added things to the conversation so these are and sometimes they are directional in a manner that ki aap ek specific niche ke liye podcast bana rahe ho let's say ki you want to talk about tech and you want to talk about coding and you want to talk about c++ java and you make your show about that only but what i personally do with my podcast is just live talk 
people come on the show who've done amazing things and i ask them questions that why did and how did you do them so that's what podcasts are all about got it got it uh, so aapne uh, the most years podcast uh, why you started the most years podcast like jo aap conversation kar rahe the wo to aap uh, like without camera bhi kar sakte the uh, you uh, do you didn't require a, a setup to record that and put on uh, put it on youtube or on any streaming platform so uh, why you started the most years podcast what's all the reason behind it yeah yaar very honest reason main batata hu aapko isme bina kisi uske intent aur us sab ke इट वॉज कि मेरे को बहुत टाइम से मन था टू स्टार्ट अडकास्ट और यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई डिट नो कि मैं किस बारे में बात करूंगा उसके ऊपर सो आई थॉट कि यार आई शुड हैव एंड आई थिंक ये ये प्रॉब्लम ना लोगों को लगती है कि उनके साथ भी कहीं ना कहीं होगी एटलीस्ट सम ऑफ योर ऑडियंस विल रिलेट टू दिस की वी फील वी वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग कॉन्टेंट क्रिएशन में बट यू डोंट नो क्या और यू नो कि हम किस चीज के ऊपर बात करें एंड वाई विल इवन समन लिसन टू मी मेरे मेरे को एक्स्ट्रा ऐसा क्या आता है यू नो समन वॉन्ट टू सिट एंड स्पेंड एन आर लिस्ट टू मी टॉक टू अदर पीपल वो तो इतने सारे पॉडकास्ट हैं ऑलरेडी इतने सारे यूट्यूब चैनल्स हैं ऑलरेडी तो मैं भी उसी रेस में था कि यार ठीक है आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू हैव माई यूट्यूब चैनल और पॉडकास्ट वन डे एंड लेट सी स्टार्ट करके देखते हैं एंड आई वॉज यू नो थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम जब से पैंडमिक स्टार्टेड सो वन फुल ईयर मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन आई जिस कैप थिंकिंग अबाउट इट एस ए बैक ऑन द बैक ऑफ माई माइंड कि आई स्टार्ट वन डे देन इवेंचुअली लाइक आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग इट विद वन ऑफ माई वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड्स एंड शी टोल्ड मी दैट यू नो यू शुड try and start uh, this thing and just go with it karke dekh le and you know you'll figure out ki how does this happen and uh, how things move on forward so i thought ki chalo theek hai what's the harm and the initial episodes are not video as well so i just had to sit and talk to someone and it was audio only so it felt comfortable to me as well then we sat and i talked to people around me some of my school friends college seniors or people in general in my network who were doing some businesses or startups or just studying different subjects like philosophy psychology or things like these so i i asked them that would you like to come on my show and talk about things and they were very happy to do so and we we brewed some conversations and i had i had a lot of fun doing that so i thought ki when i'm ha- i am enjoying having these conversations and the other person is enjoying um, being on the show and sometimes they have potential that uh, they will you know grip the attention of uh, some of the viewers or someone else might find it interesting and also meaningful like it's putting some value in their lives so they intend to record these conversations is always that these conversations are providing meaning or uh, any amount of uh, information knowledge experience to those people who are not able to have these conversations with people that i am able to have so uh, if i if i were to just limit all my knowledge and keep it just to myself i wouldn't be a very happy man i want to share it and i want people to know and experience those lives that i am able to ask them questions and uh, sometimes even i pick my questions from the comments i get on my channel you know that bring this guest again and ask them this question so it feels so great that people are actually engaging with the content and they want to know more about things so for me it was i was just a curious kid who wanted to know answers and i thought that people also might want to know answers to these questions so isliye i started recording these conversations and uh, with every iteration you realize ki inka magnitude bahut zyada hai this is very good leverage once you have uh, content ready once you have it published on platforms and it's good quality content and it's decent production and it's actually meaningful to someone then it gives you a lot of leverage believe me and people want to come on your show and they'll they'll request you they'll uh, send out emails to you and then suddenly the whole equation changes so recording and uh, being proud of your work is very important sometimes we uh, often are our own worst critic and we think that uh, you know i am very poor in everything i do so we don't put out anything on the internet which is tough and that's the most difficult part of starting a podcast or a youtube channel i think but you know you have to open yourself up you have to take that first plunge and it's and it's good it's empowering in a manner that uh, once you realize that nobody actually cares so much about you that that you think that people do because everyone is thinking oh i'll put, put a video on youtube or start a podcast and people, my friends will think ki are acha so you know so much and you'll start you're starting a podcast that that is a very big filter man and uh, i've seen people struggle with it even i struggled with it 
but once you put yourself out on the internet and once you are happy you're confident in your own skin then it changes and you feel start and you start becoming proud of the work that you do i think that's that's just the best way to put it yep yep exactly and in fact a uh, podcast just act as a bridge uh, between the learner and the and the guest and you the podcast host mm-hmm. as as a bridge basically because yeah. the entire path is podcast and the bridge is the podcast host and on the one hand we have speaker and on the one hand we have the audience who want to learn from the speaker hello hello out so that they can you know extract the best of the those conversations yeah 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 uh, actually there was a um, break in the network for just a second just a oh, second, second yeah uh, i'm okay. sorry was it was it on my end uh yep may it maybe okay okay i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm no issues, no issues. i'm just yeah. i'm just informing you in case you uh, didn't listen to me acha acha please cool. you yep yep uh so uh we can start taking the question of the people and the between also i will ask the questions to you which i sure. uh, feel that uh, we should uh, have in this conversation mm-hmm. uh, so the very common question which people have before starting a podcast series how do you invite guests uh, how do you invite guests for the podcast <laughs> that's the most important question the most basic question which is very important because podcast is not possible without any guest uh so there are two parts to this question and i'll address each one of them let's start with the later part uh you said that podcasts are not possible without having a guest on and i don't completely agree with that st- statement because there are shows where uh the host is just putting out solo episodes and they're talking about their personal experiences with life or with whatever knowledge that they have right so it could be someone who knows about let's say football a lot and they watch all the matches and they provide analysis on their show so they don't require guests to, to come on maybe it's a good idea to have people to come on their show but they can do let's say saturday sunday premier league and they can do an analysis and put out an episode on monday so they don't require a guest so if people who think that uh, to start a podcast you always need guests then that's not true it's good it's a good idea to have more people on because then the conversation becomes more uh, i don't know creative because people bring new energy different vibes different knowledge to the table but you can start your own show and you can continue it uh, without a lot of problems you just have to decide what you are interested in and another part to your question is how do i invite guests on my show see that's not difficult the catch is how do you invite high profile guests on your show because you can invite your mom on your podcast you can invite your dad on your podcast you can invite your school friend on your podcast that's not a big deal you will ask them and they'll be very happy to come ki someone is asking me for gyan yaar aa jate hain gyan to hum sabko hi dena bahut zyada pasand hai uske liye kisi ko koi incentive nahi chahiye to uh, that's not difficult the difficult part is how do i invite famous people on my show and uh, yahan pe na to do the first part is very important so like very famous ultra famous people won't come to your show because they don't know you essentially and there's no leverage that you are providing to them right so there's no transactional value in that uh, in that in that exchange so for them you need to first build a base of having conversations making a proof of work for what you're doing so let's say you want to start a show and you want to have people on and you want to have very high profile people on so what i would suggest is take some time out figure out why you're doing this show what do you want this show's personality to be and ask people around you to come on that show and talk about their experiences and it could be maybe your teachers it could maybe be your cousins it could maybe uh, be someone who you know who knows uh, something about something let's say your show is about your show is about conservation of nature right so maybe you have uh, an environmental studies teacher in your school who has a lot of knowledge and she's not very famous of course maybe she is in your school but she's not world famous but she has a lot of knowledge and once you have that conversation with her and that's a proof of work for whatever future references you will give out so let's say now you want to bring the nobel prize winning uh, world conservationist on your show so now you can uh, say to them or you can show them the previous conversation that you've had with your teacher so this is how you build step by step 
So suddenly you won't, there won't be a day when you say ki, today I'll have Bill Gates on my show. You know, this is my first episode and my first episode will be with uh, someone very famous, Elon Musk or someone, you know, someone like a Tanmay Bhatt or someone like you, whoever you feel that is, is a biggest con Virat Kohli or Mahindra Singh Dhoni, you know, so that won't be your first episode. That's the buildup. And you don't want that to be your first episode as well. Aap khud socho. Let's say you start with your first episode as Virat Kohli. Then uske baad sare episodes will be yaar, a downgrade only. Na? So do you want that the first episode will peak and then go down? So uh, kind of build your way into it. And also figure out why and what is the personality of your show. I think that's, that's just uh, most of the part of it. Got it. Completely got it. And you just uh, broke my myth. Uh, I don't, actually, I, uh, what I thought is podcast not possible without two guests because we can't have a conversation uh, with, uh, with, with ourselves only. But uh, that, that we can have if we have something on our computer, we can have the conversation. Yep. Yeah. And, and see, like uh, podcasts are not essentially just conversations between two people. It could also be conversation between you and your audience, right? So you could be telling them about what you know, or what your life is about, or what your experiences are. And that could be a conversation with just you and your audience. Maybe they're not responding. Your audience is not verbally responsive to your show because they're not on the mic, but they can respond to you by emails. They can respond to you by social media comments or things like these. So they will reach out to you. They will let you know how they're feeling about your show. And uh, you can do solo podcasts, man. That's, that's, uh, that's something that many people are doing. And some, that's something many people are finding uh, value in. Uh, completely got it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So the next question we have is, how do I overcome the fear of starting my own podcast? You won't. If you don't start your podcast, you will never overcome your fear of starting a podcast. And uh, this is something that I experienced. Even uh, like when, when I started my podcast, it was in March or end, maybe April 2021. So an year and a half uh, ago. And us time pe even I used to think about this a lot here, ki, uh, my friends will make fun of me or people around me will think, okay, this is now the podcast host who's come with his own show. And you know, he knows everything and things like these. And you take yourself so seriously. And this is also one of the reasons that I call it the most serious podcast that we take ourselves so damn seriously. We think that we are just the center of attention in everyone's lives. And we think that the universe revolves around us. It doesn't. And once you accept this fact now that you're not as important as you think you are, or people care about you as much as you think they do, then you accept yourself as you, who you truly are. And you can put yourself out as who you truly are on the internet. And you know, it's, uh, it's not everybody's cup of tea. That's when most people aren't able to do it, but I would urge you to take that step. If anything, this session does is, and it motivates just one person to hit publish on that episode that they recorded, maybe we just talking to the mic without any guest even, or with some, with a guest even, then that would be one of the biggest wins I've had, uh, for this session. Cause I just want you to uh, know that once you start trusting yourself and also knowing that it's okay, man, nobody gets it right on their first try and you shouldn't even aim for that. Just try to do what you are actually interested in. Don't think about yourself so seriously. You're not that important. Nobody cares about you that much. Be comfortable. Try to be comfortable in your own skin. That's very important. And that will take you far in life. Exactly. Actually, um, we just have to try the things. And if they work, that's completely fine. If they don't, you just learn something. You didn't. Exactly. Do Yep. And podcasts are the very best example to offer it because every conversation you learn something, let's say me and uh, Shaurya are talking right now. Shaurya, after these, whatever, 30, 40 minutes we talk, uh, he will go and he would have learned something from this conversation. And it's not just that Shaurya would have learned something only. Even when I walk away from this conversation, I would have learned things from your community and Shaurya as well. So, uh, let's say this conversation never happened. So me and Shaurya and you all both missed out and every one of us missed out on these, uh, you know, exchange of, uh, whatever words or knowledge or ideas we're having right now. So worst say worst, kya ho gaya? no one will watch it. Hai. You had fun enjoying it. Aapko to maza aaya baat karne mein podcast pe apne. And you know, uh, you'll start feeling proud of uh, the work you do. If you're able to take that step. Yeah. Uh, 
प्राइड डजेंट कम वेन यूर सेटिंग इन योर कम्फर्टेबल हमेशा अपनी कम्फर्ट जोन में जब आप बैठे हो ना इट वॉन्ट ऑलवेज मेक यू फील ग्रेट यू वॉन्ट फील एम्पावर्ड बाई योर सेल्फ यू वॉन्ट फील कॉन्फिडेंट बाई जस्ट स्टेइंग इन योर कम्फर्ट जोन वेन यू ओवरकम योर एंगजाइटी वेन यू ओवरकम द प्रेशर वेन यू ओवरकम यू नो दैट फीलिंग ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी देन यू स्टार्ट टू फील कि यार इफ आई एम एबल टू डू दिस देन आई कैन डू समथिंग बिगर If I am able to overcome, the, you know, the fear of judgment of people, then I can do so much more in life. And if anything, just learn that uh, you know, don't be so serious. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, next question we have is, uh, how do I build an audience? Okay. Good question. uh this is one of those questions that you ask uh, in a in a academic class maybe if i was teaching podcast 101 then this would have been the perfect question how do you build an audience is something that you shouldn't worry about in the first place i guess uh, when you're just starting out i think uh, you shouldn't spend a lot of time in the academics of building an audience commercializing my show making it uh, available for the best uh, people around it because very honestly and uh, this might sound a bit uh, maybe rude i guess but your show won't reach to as many people as you're thinking you know so suddenly when you make your first episode it won't be reaching to millions of people it would probably circle around in hundreds or maybe 200 300 500 or even a thousand of your personal network that's the maximum that you'll reach because an, a, an average human being maybe he you know interacts with 1000 people across their lives you know an actual interaction and let's say you have a network of 1000 people so your first show will actually reach just 500 or 1000 people and this world has 7 8 billion people so you know you will find your audience eventually don't worry about it what you need to do is first finding who i am actually finding what was my intention behind starting this podcast take that journey inwards and people will eventually start following you when we say that uh, you know i follow so i don't follow this person or i don't follow this uh, podcast i follow this person's inward journey of accepting and knowing who they truly are so when i say when i follow someone then i follow their inward journey of becoming who they are becoming so try to understand yourself true to yourself and people will start uh, recognizing you people will start following you because they will see that someone who took that inward journey who had that confidence to you know uh, ask themselves the right questions that who am i why am i doing this and uh, what are my intentions behind it what value am i bringing to the table then people like that idea that this person is able to do it then we want to follow them and we want to become like them or we want their ideas to be in our heads and that's how you build your audience you build your audience by building or understanding yourself first and then people will eventually come that's that's a that's a very different part in the beginning yeah 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 exactly um actually you just pick my line maybe ek kehne wala tha something related to this like we have 7 billion people on earth so uh, there are many people who have just same thought process which you have so it will take time to uh, reach that particular thing to that, uh, to those set of people to that group but once it will once it will reach you will have a lots of like lots of comment lots of audience with you yeah exactly man that's very true that's very true <laughs> yeah so uh, the next question is what yeah. equip- uh, what equipments do you have uh, to record the podcast and how much it costed um what equipments do i have to record my podcast so i have this mic i guess which you can see which makes me sound good i don't sound as good in the real life uh mirya <laughs> i think this is just uh, the perks of being a podcast host that you are able to tweak your sounds and make it thoda aur uh, better uh, studio quality but uh, yeah so all you need is a microphone to get started and uh, you need a camera you will have uh, you know you can start your podcast with just a simple mobile phone you don't need a lot you can start it from your phone uh, but if you are a little bit serious about it then i would recommend investing in a good quality microphone and it doesn't need to be a very expensive one it just needs to be a decent microphone uh you need you can get a good uh, maybe webcam if you're thinking of making video podcast if not then just a microphone would suffice and you need to have a laptop maybe you can edit from your phone as well but i would recommend having a laptop 
and uh, then you're good to go. You just hit record and you can edit it by using softwares like Audacity, Premiere Pro and a couple more garage band, I guess. And it's very easy, super intuitive to uh, record audios and then edit them. It's not that difficult. You can find tons and tons of tutorials on YouTube. It's, it's not, uh, it's not hard at all. It's something that you'll figure out. And you know, once you are excited and once you are enough uh, interested, uh, that you have recorded your show, you will be very excited to learn. How do I make this very highest level of production? So once you start getting addicted to your own voice, that's a very, uh, difficult game to tread on because now you'll be obsessed with, you know, how will I make myself sound even better? And up to my audio production, and you will, you will figure out everything. You will invest in a good microphone. You will buy the right equipment. So, uh, the only basic tool requirements are just a good microphone and maybe a webcam or a laptop to get started with. And the tools are available. The tutorials are available. It's you'll just figure it out. Just type it on YouTube and it's all there. You learn audacity, maybe in an hour that it's such an easy software. It's just cut and, you know, paste and whatever, make cuts and apply some uh, default audio presets and you're good to go. Uh, got it. Um, yep. So, yeah. So uh, now let's come to monetization part of the podcast. The hmm. one, the question we have is how can one monetize their podcast? So there are different streams to this. Uh, there's no just one channel of monetization through a podcast. You can do multiple revenue streams. It could be your podcast could be an exclusive to a platform. Let's say you might've heard that some shows are just Spotify exclusive. So that limits them to not being present on other audio platforms. Uh, and that could be a sponsorship that Spotify is giving to, to them. So let's say, uh, you partner with a audio platform and they provide you, uh, a potential, you know, funding for you to run your show. So that could be a, a monetization aspect. Of course, you could run ads on your show. Uh, using, I use anchor for the most serious podcast, but there are many different hosting platforms, which allow you to use, uh, different, different, um, revenue models. You can run ads in between your show in the beginning of your show at the end of your show. And uh, these ads will essentially play you, uh, pay you for however many plays that you get. So of course there's, there's just the traditional, uh, revenue model for anything that is content, you know, the same things that go on with YouTube. So they have a monetization through ads, through brand integration. So even podcasts have that a lot. So, and if, if, you know, fun fact that podcasts are actually, um, they have been proven to return higher amount of, uh, return on investments for ads because the attention span while listening to a podcast is greater than while, uh, you know maybe just randomly scrolling through an Insta feed or something like that, it's because you have to commit to a podcast. You will be listening to it. Let's say going on your trains or maybe driving to work or going to college or maybe going to sleep sometimes. And you listen to a podcast with intent. You don't unconsciously click play on a one hour, 15 minute conversation with someone else. Right. So you will think about that conversation. And so ads are actually, uh, they, they give a better return on investment on podcasts. So there are a lot of ways through which you can monetize your shows, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's the traditional revenue model. Not a lot that you should worry about, mm. uh, companies or brands eventually start reaching out to you on their own. And yeah. if they're not, uh, don't fret about it a lot. Don't stress about it. Uh, they will, they will eventually, if you keep consistent with your work, all the brands or all, uh, the monetization work will eventually come through and you don't. You won't need to work a lot to get that. You just focus on your content and the money or the brands will come in. Got it. Got it. Uh, so uh, next question we have is how's your experience with the podcast and with the guest as well? Uh, my experience has been great. I think uh, this has been one of the best decisions I took in my life ever. Because, uh, because of, you know, a couple of reasons, I guess, um, uh, it firstly allowed me to know that I'm capable of having these conversations with people who are much more successful than me, much more older than me, much more accomplished than me. And once you get that confidence here, if I can talk to someone who's so established, so successful, 
and uh, you know uh, not in the manner ki sometimes we get stage fright and we fumble and do and this and that so podcasts allow you to have natural candid conversations jisme aapko dar nahi lag raha ki if i you know i'll mess up a word this is an interview i'm supposed to ask this or this or dot so that gives you a lot of confidence i think this uh, podcast gave that for me now i am not very maybe shy or uh, you know un- under confident on initiating conversations so now i think that if i can talk to maybe these many business heads so why can't i talk to someone who's just sitting across me and start a conversation with them so that takes away that uh, under confident or uh, that element outside from you so you're able to initiate conversations with almost everyone apart from that it allows you to uh, it opens your you to many opportunities so having a podcast uh, of of the magnitude that now the most serious podcast is allows me to uh, come on maybe platforms like this which is a very you know fun and a good way to uh, share my experiences with and uh, this podcast allows me to work with people who i couldn't have worked if i didn't have a podcast or did couldn't have talked to if i didn't have this podcast so it opens a new door to opportunities and that's uh, that's something that doesn't require a lot of effort you know so you're just having conversations with people sitting at your home and it's opening you up to monetization benefits or it's opening up to you networking benefits so it has a lot of pros this podcast uh, gig uh, not everything is um, maybe as good as people say on camera because uh, you know you don't see the scripting part of it you don't see the cold emailing part of it and you don't see sometimes um, maybe recording intros how much time does it take for you to get them edited or learn editing yourself and do the editing making thumbnails making cover art so things like these so it's not all glorious that people show on camera but it's 100% worth the effort that you put in um i believe it allows you so much more and it gives you a lot of confidence in your life you don't think of yourself as some lowly figure that we all uh, often think that yaar mere ko kya yaad hai you know i shouldn't ask this question people will think i'm stupid this is a very dumb question so you don't think like that at all you change and you you appreciate dumb questions you think that no one is having the courage to ask this let me ask this yeah it's just about the perspective like exactly uh, yeah very true that's perfect um how do you get better at speaking and have a spontaneous conversation about podcast uh you do like but, uh, whoever has asked this question you know you don't uh, fear spontaneous conversations with your friends i'm sure kabhi bhi aapko apne friends ke sath baith ke you won't think ki my friend will ask me what did you have for dinner last night and i will fumble and i'll say um, you know what i don't know i don't remember i'm scared no you don't why not because you're not uh, you're not trying to be someone else you're not you know you're just honest you're naturally yourself and you won't say ki i had the most exotic meal in the world because your friend will call out on your bullshit and they'll say okay you know you might have had sabzi roti at your house so uh, you you don't worry about the part wherein uh, you know how will uh, i be good in spontaneous conversation you are good in spontaneous conversations tell yourself that you are able to have conversations with your parents and your friends then you're good with your spontaneous conversation what you're not good is at believing that you will be able to hold conversations so you automatically tell yourself that whenever a person who knows so much more than me then i'll fumble and you know i won't have anything to speak and i'll get flustered and it you know what will i ask them or why will people listen to me so take take a break from your own mind you once you start talking to people and once you start um, actually listening to people and this is a very important part so much so that podcasts are actually you know they provide i said that a microphone is very important for a podcast the second maybe the first most important thing even for a podcast is the speakers or the earphones or these ears because you need to listen man we we've, we've forgotten the art of listening we just listen so that we can respond we don't listen so so that we can understand and take a break just try to listen what the other person is saying and you will never fail at spontaneous conversations listen to what the other person is saying try to articulate your thoughts in a manner that makes sense and that's just it you know no spontaneous conversation will ever scare you be it with whoever in this world
you'll just be calm you'll be zen you'll be relaxed because you're listening to them with all, all your attention and then you're articulating your thoughts honestly and in a manner got it got it and uh, is aapne bhi sara uh, itna heavy line aapne di hai this is a uh, this is a very important line and very uh, it has very deep meaning you need to listen first uh, with a calm mind understand what others are saying and then respond then it you will not feel like it is a spontaneous conversation you will feel like a normal conversation yep exactly and you don't feel like it abhi jaise uh, we are having this conversation i have never met you in person Yeah. we haven't talked on phone we haven't uh, talked on line or you know this is the first time we're talking and i don't feel uh, even a little bit of discomfort and i hope that you are not as well yeah. but uh, yeah you know because i'm just li- i'm i'm just happy to listen to you and i'm just happy to share my experiences with you and that doesn't make me scared and i hopefully uh, think that it doesn't make you scared as well because you're just asking questions that you are curious about or your community is curious about what's yes. there to be scared about anyway yeah you know why why do you care so much that even if the other person thinks that you'll ask dumb questions okay ask them man you don't matter so much stop thinking of yourself yourself so seriously just take a chill pill relax and ask those dumb questions it's it's okay beautiful absolutely beautiful um the next question uh, we have is how do you keep your podcast from stagnating and becoming too tempt size especially if your podcast is about a very niche topic hmm uh, i i couldn't get the part of uh, keeping it damp sized what was it uh, temp, not damp size it is uh, template size okay okay uh so how do you keep your podcast uh, basically how to not make your podcast boring i guess uh, yeah. the gist of your question you know how to yeah, yeah uh, if if we simplify that so mm-hmm. who's deciding that your podcast is boring let's go to that you know um, if if it's just you you feel that your content is repetitive it's not adding value it's not creating a new sense of meaning with yourself and your audience as well then maybe it's time to rethink about a couple of factors it could be the duration of your show it could be the maybe the way you present your show you know maybe you're not as interactive as you could be or maybe you're not as factual as you could be or maybe you're not as expressive as you could be kya pata aapke facts bahut acche hain but you do, you lack storytelling kya pata aapki storytelling bahut achhi hai but maybe you don't have data at all so uh, how do you keep yourself from becoming boring is by reinventing yourself so uh, the moment when you started this podcast or the moment when you thought about starting that podcast you might have felt a rush of uh, i'm trying this new exciting thing and all of that so it goes away after 10 episodes and then what happens you'll keep repeating the same old thing then it feels boring so what will i do if i'm feeling boring or if i feel my content is not as exciting as it used to be and i need to reinvent i need to re- make uh, 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 a step back i need to take a step back and think from a bird eyes view and i'll 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 try to find uh what what more could i add to this show or maybe how could i revamp the structure of the show and let's reinvent what what's the worst that could happen people will say this is even worse than your previous one okay let's go back to the previous one at least now they'll be happy with the previous one <laughs> yeah uh, now they feel like this is the better version we have <laughs> yeah exactly so you know you didn't do any work extra and people are happy they're happy just that that you reverted back to the original version got it um amazing it was just amazing uh so yep we have uh, we have almost covered each and every question guys if you have any other question uh, i will uh, provide a link of ripu thaman's linkedin id so uh, you can text him over there and yep uh, he will be happy to answer all the questions am i right yeah yeah sure Yep. So thank you guys. Thank you for listening to us. Uh, thank you for asking the questions. I hope you all get the answer of the questions. Thank you, Ribidaman, for uh, for providing such a huge knowledge to our community. In fact, uh, I just learned a lot from the conversation, and it is not just a conversation. It is a learning which we all uh, had just in the in couple of forty minutes, thirty to forty minutes. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I also enjoyed talking to you a lot. 
I hope your community takes just uh, a, a few of yeah. what I said and uh, takes this with them. You know, don't even when I say don't take yourself so seriously, don't even take me so seriously. Okay. So uh, the whole part of it is just, you know, do what you feel like. Don't hold yourself back and uh, don't let people tell you what to do, what's right or what's not. Figure out that for yourself. And I'm happy to help anyone who wants to start a podcast. I always say to people that, you know, start a podcast. You have so much to talk about. You don't even know. So uh, all the very best to people who do start a podcast or try to hit that publish button. Uh, yeah. All my best wishes to you all. And I'm always, I'm always available. I'm always here to help each and every one of you. That's great. Uh, please wait for one minute. Let me end the stream and then we'll talk. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, people. Thank you for listening to us and hope you all enjoyed the conversation. See you in the next event. And until then, keep learning, keep enjoying and don't think too much. Just uh, do whatever you love to do and just try and experiment things. There's no harm in that.